Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.1. Yes, the newly released iOS 5.1 that was released yesterday. The tethered jailbreak is out for it. Yes, this jailbreak is tethered. As soon as the untethered jailbreak comes out, I'm going to do a video for that as well. This jailbreak is for non-A5 devices, meaning it does not support the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. I repeat. It does not support the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. It only supports the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPad 1, the iPad Touch 3 gen, and the iPad Touch 4 gen. So as I said, this jailbreak is tethered. So every time your battery dies, your phone reboots, or you power off your device, you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot your device tethered. Secondly, unlockers, you should avoid this jailbreak for now because Red uh, Ultra Snow is going to be updated in a few days as soon as ultra snow is updated i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do a video showing you guys how to update the a4 chip devices without updating your baseband so unlockers please stay away from this even if you use the gv sim just stay away from it right now there's nothing new only this just the camera button so yes now let's go ahead and go into the jailbreak now everything you're going to need is going to be in the description, a link to a guide to help you with any errors if you receive any, and everything you're going to need to download. So check out the link in the description. So you're going to have to download the new Red Snow, which is Red Snow 0.9.10b6. So we're going to have to download that. After you download it, you just go where you get it. Make sure you put it on your desktop. You're going to extract it. Open up the folder that it's in. You're going to go ahead and right click Red Snow, click Properties. Click compatibility, check off run this program compatibility mode 4, check off Windows Service Pack 2, check run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then hit OK. After you do that, just go ahead and run Red Snow. Yes. And we're just gonna go ahead and click jailbreak. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put our device in DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I'm gonna show you. All you have to do is hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. After that, we're going to go ahead and release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes our iDevice. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Red Snow is going to go ahead and identify a device, just give it a little while, exploiting the kernel, uploading, waiting for the device to reboot, and it's going to auto detect what firmware your device is on, which is, it should be 5.1 because that's what we're doing. So now we're just going to leave those two things, check install CD and enable battery percentage for me because I'm uh, on my iPod Touch. You can do enable multicast gestures if you want. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And we're just going to go ahead and let Red Snow work. It's magic. Now depending on the device or depending on how you have Red Snow configured, this may take a little while for some people. The time may vary. Just leave it. It's going to go ahead and do its thing. I'm going to go ahead and come back when Red Snow is finished. So I'm back now, Red Snow is finished, and that took about two minutes for me, or probably a minute and a half. So what we're going to do, you're going to open up your device, and you're going to realize that your CD icon is going to be white, and it's going to be crashing. Also, your Safari might be crashing, not all the time it crashes. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back over to our computer. You're going to go ahead and launch Red Snow again. Say yes. You're going to go ahead and click the Extras option. Make sure you clear. We're going to go ahead and tick the top option, which is just boot. And this is where we're going to boot our device tethered. If you do not boot your device tethered, CDL will never work. None of your tweaks will work, etc. So let's go ahead and put our device into DFU mode again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, Red Snow has recognized our device, so we're just going to go ahead and let Red Snow boot our device up tethered. So after Red Snow boot up my device, I'm going to go ahead and come back. 
So now that Red Snow is finished booting up my device, gonna open your device, your CDL should be uh, the right color, your Safari should be working, and also your CDL should be working as well. Just go ahead, select what you are, user, hacker, or developer, and that's it. Remember, this jailbreak is tethered, so you're gonna have to boot tethered every time your battery dies, you power off your device, or you reboot your device. Remember that and unlock us please stay away as soon as ultra snow is updated I'm gonna do a video and help you guys out with the, you are now jailbroken May the jailbreak force be with you with that being said, please rate comment subscribe. Have a nice day